Let's talk about some tips and tricks when working with the SAP business partner. We navigate to transaction code BP. And by the way, if you want to find out more about the business partner, please make sure to check my playlist. I linked it in the description of this video. So my first trick I want to show you is the following. Let's search for a business partner via the start button. Once we found the business partner we are looking for, we can mark the respective line and save this business partner as a favorite via this particular button over here. Click on it. You can see the business partner has been added to our objects. These objects we can find over here in the work list. So click on work list and here you can see the business partner we just added. Also, we could switch to last edited objects. So the system would show us the last business partners we edited. We can also remove it from our favorites list by selecting it again and clicking on this particular symbol here saying remove from my objects. Okay, this was the first trick. The next one, let's go to the find section again. Here, you can see we can search for business partners via those drop down menus over here, but there's also another way to search for business partners. And this is via this folder symbol over here, OpenBP. You can insert a business partner number if you know it by heart, or you can click on this symbol over here, which will open up a different menu. In this menu, you can search by lots of different criteria. You can see here, search by address, partners general, partner by business partner role. This is also interesting if you want to search for business partner roles in particular, or you can also select the symbol over here and here you can see you can search for many different criteria. What is important is that if you select partner by different attributes, you can see we are now here forwarded to a separate window where we can search for different attributes. This is all fine and also working out. However, if we now click here on the back symbol, we are again in this overview screen. But if we now click again on this symbol over here to search by different criteria, we are directly forwarded back into this specific search, which is kind of from a UX perspective, not sorted out that well by SAP. But there is a trick. You just need to click on this symbol over here called other search help and then select one of the other search helps. For instance, this one. And now we are back in the screen you have seen before. So far, so good. Let's close this one and this one as well. You can see what happened. Now we can't see the so-called locator anymore. And if we click on this symbol over here, SAP will take us back to the start screen. And I'm not talking about the start screen of the business partner transaction, but the start screen of your SAP system. So therefore, it's advisable to always select this button over here saying locator on and off. Or alternatively, you can press F9 on your keyboard. This will always open the locator. You can also select it again so that you won't see the locator anymore. Furthermore, let's click on one of the business partners with a double click. This will display the business partner. However, we can also split the window by clicking again on this locator on off symbol. And then we can minimize like that. As you can see, I'm clicking on this and on the right hand side, you can now also see the business partner we navigated into. So this is kind of a split screen now, as you can see. OK, then there is another trick. You can click on this symbol over here, settings or shift and F8 on your keyboard. And over here, you can see in the generals tab that we have different options. So we can say how the screen here should be displayed. Type of processing for business partner, for instance, can always be set to display for relationships as well, which would mean that whenever we navigate into a business partner, we are in the display mode directly and not in the change mode. Also over here, you can see display security check with role change in create mode. We should always save a business partner once it was created with a particular role. Otherwise, if we do not save the business partner in a particular role, and then change to another role, then the parameters entered for the initial role will be lost. So it's always advisable to hit this check mark over here. Then you can see use sortable lists. If we select this indicator, then all the lists are presented in such a way that we can click on a column heading to sort the lists. So this you can also leave as is. However, then you can see here the locator. The locator is this here in the background where you can select the different business partners. We can set it to narrow, full screen or hidden. If we set it to full screen, then as you've seen before, we can only see the locator. And once we double click on a business partner, we can only see the business partner. If we click on narrow like that and then we click on enter, then you can see here the split screen. In comparison, if we set full screen and then navigate to the transaction of the business partner again, you can see we only see the locator. Or 
if we select over here hidden like that and then navigate to the screen again we can only see the business partners but not the locator next off let's actually change for instance one business partner let's say the name is now oem a b like that save you can see changes have been saved now you may ask yourself how we can see what changes have been made to a particular business partner this is another tip for you so you click on extras change history for this partner and then you select all of them for instance and click continue and here you can see that i changed the name to a underscore b okay let's go back as you have seen this was for the business partner in general also i can click on a particular field then go to extras change history for this field and now i can see for this particular field what has been changed in the past despite that there's another tip i want to give you therefore we go to extras create change and here you can see in what kind of business partner grouping this particular business partner was created the business partner grouping i have already explained to you in another video so please make sure to check the whole playlist for the business partner despite that there's even more to display the history we can click on business partner display history and here we can insert a date and then display how the business partner looked like on a particular day so for instance on the 3rd of january 2024 here we can see now the name was oem underscore a before before i changed it here we can also dynamically change the status to see it for different days or we click on cancel and now we are back in the original screen the next trick i want to give you is how to see what roles have been created for a business partner yet therefore it's advisable to always go into the display mode as you can see over here because now if i select the drop down menu i can only only see the roles that have already been added to my business partner in comparison if i select the change mode and then go to the drop down menu you can see many different roles i could choose from so it's always advisable to go to the display mode to display all the roles that have actually been added to the business partner last but not least there is a hidden button over here click on it and here you can find amongst others the attachment list if there are any attachments you can also create an attachment if necessary or also start a workflow this marks the end of the video i hope you liked it if so then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell see you next time